cluster of small islands in the Atlantic, nestled just 67 miles from the northwest part of Africa. Not even two months into production, the team of Seafront Simulations have worked to offer us something extraordinary, and this time being, the Canary Islands, popularly known as the Canaries. Ladies and gentlemen, the sim gets truly beautiful with creations from all over the world. I'd like to welcome you back, where we offer you the latest on the sim and do subscribe for future releases. A category that needs more focus. VFR flying has been a growing arena at the sim. A number of changes have been taking place. Now with seafront simulations covering the waterfront portion of the sim isn't new. We have seen other interesting products from this team, giving us more reasons to hit that fly button on some of the most beautiful regions of the planet, covering the UK, Hawaii, the Virgin Islands, Channel Islands and more. Not to forget, the most popular global shipping is one amongst the iconic creations. The thought process hasn't changed here with this team. If you'd like to try out their freeware, do try the Channel Islands. Get a good picture of what this team can really offer us. Now the chapter of Canary Islands are a choice of destination, consisting of the main islands of Lanzarote, Gran Canaria, Fuet Eventura, La Palma and Tenerife. Islands of history, sure. Now the port of San Sebastian La Gomera was the last stopping point for Christopher Columbus on his first transatlantic voyage in 1492. Now these islands have a population of more than 2 million with a concentration of Tenerife and Gran Canaria. Tourist destinations make things more interesting, and this is why we sim for the most part. One of the reasons to discover unknown places, appreciating cultures, traditions, and learn a lot more history. What does this pack feature? Plenty. With PBR models that bring good visuals, navigation and night lighting which has been an inclusion, letting us know on nearby vessels or ships. Vessels sure need animation, bringing objects to life and if you're wondering on wake and smoke effects, it has been time since the sim brought this and this has been included as well. For the best wake effects, setting the ground wind speed to 7 knots or above can be ideal. Now some products offer us ships that are stationary. But the team of Seafront offer us moving ships with hard decks, giving us more ideas and having missions surrounding these things. Now one of the things to note is that you would need to install the free vessel score library element to have this pack function. The journey continues with seafront simulations covering area after area, country after country, till continents making our experience at Microsoft Flight Simulator quite unique and enjoyable. If you're new to what the team can offer, do take a look at our other videos. Coastal Front has been the focus going the nautical route for the team. We certainly hope you like this video. Do subscribe for more. It's been a true pleasure. Until next time. Do take care.